Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, this morning, I quickly wanted to give you an update on what was happening with our little solar hut here for the powering of the fans inside our high tunnel hoop house. Because guess what just turned up? Now, these are the 14 inch um, radiator fans from a vehicle that um, I'd ordered online. And so I've got two of these. And so what I was thinking is that I'll just give them a bit of a test run um, very loosely to see which way the wind blows and, and, and whatnot and, um, and how it's actually going to form inside the high tunnel hoop house. Because these little guys will transfer, a single fan can transfer the air inside the hoop house over a 15 minute period. So with two of them, I'm thinking, you know, that's seven and a half minutes. So it might be a little bit too quick. <laughs> so I've got to maybe work out some sort of system where I can reduce the speed or, or something of the sort and, and just sort of circulate that air maybe over a, a, a longer period. But anyway, we'll, we'll ha I'll put them in place and we'll see how we go. Um, we might find that all our vegetables and everything else are all growing on a lean. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know yet. But anyway, so solar panels on, batteries are in. So we're all charging at the moment. So nothing else is really happening um, inside um, the, the, the solar hut at the moment. So we, we're receiving 14.8. Um, oh, and it's telling me that the load's off. So the batteries are already full. But in saying that, I've run my conduit um, from the solar hut. Now, remembering this is only just 12 volt. So, so from the solar regulator or solar um, charger system there, solar controller, we're coming out and into the um, high tunnel hoop house. So I just thought I'd, I had some conduit and I thought, great, let's get it all worked out. So I've got two lines running to the high tunnel hoop house. Now the reason I've got two is that the I've got two fans and I want to regulate these individually. So one being set at a temperature of let's say 30 and another one being um, set at a temperature of say 32. I'm still waiting on my temperature thermostats that will then engage the fans. So we'll have a constant run or constant positive feed to the house and, or to the high, high tunnel hoop house and so when it reaches then temperature that'll be basically like an activation switch and we'll get some circulation going in but come on in and i'll just basically show you what we've got going on so i've just checked the polarity of of the the fans now now initially what i thought i would be doing is doing something like this but they're just too big they're just too big I'll be hitting my head and oh, it's, just, it's just gonna be a mess. So what I was thinking is that I'm gonna actually mount these in front of the window. The air comes my way, so which is, I was surprised actually, um, you know, because obviously you can't put your fingers in there. So there's an actual a, a safety issue. Um, so we can't put our fingers in, but the air comes this way. So what I'm actually thinking is that in the packet, they had these little brackets that you can turn whichever way. And I might just run some metal or some timber or whatever it may be and mount these up like so. Um, I've got a feed coming in. So I've got two lines coming in. So one feed will be running to here. And then what I'm gonna do is then down at the other end of the, the hoop house, I'm gonna go to the other side. So as this one draws air in from outside and sends it down, what I'm thinking is that we put one on the opposite side, like so, and then we can bring air in this way and send it up that way. So each will be opposing, and what I'm sort of hoping that there will be is some sort of turbulence in the, in, the, in the middle section, but we can then build up pressure and then they can just expel through the other open windows. So that's the, the <laughs> that's the theory. And I'm thinking that now that we've got these in my hot little hand, 
I reckon it's actually going to work. So, and being radiator fans, they're already waterproof. So, already sealed up. What I can, you know, I've just, you know, had a bit of a look through. Everything's all been silicon sealed and whatnot. I'll make sure that everything sits inside um, conduits and that's all properly sealed and everything else. But, you know, it's going to be sitting, you know, cables up, something like that. And then I can have, you can see what I've done is I've just sort of roughly put in where my conduits are going to go. And yeah, Murphy's Law tells us that I am short. So <laughs> that's all right. So I'll have to pick up a couple of extra lengths um, next time I'm in town. But I'll run a single line through here. Then I'll do some flexi or something of the sort. And away we go. So... I reckon it's all pretty cool, mate. We get this all wired up. And then what I'll do is I'll then do another video on how it's all working and, you know, how it's going to affect the veggies and the seedlings and, and all our propagation stuff here. So anyway, all about trying to work out, all about trying to work out how to get air circulation through your high tunnel hoop house. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.